We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the New York Mets. Standing in, Kevin Newman, and we are set for baseball here this evening. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And no one can get there. He'll try it again. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. The throw to first is in time, one down. Up next for the Buckos, Adam Frazier. He'll get to take his first Adam cuts here. Frazier. The 1 1 home. Towards second. And this is taken for the out. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Brian Reynolds, is coming off a three hit performance in the loss last night. The 2 2. Is looked at and the count moves full. Josh Bell would be next. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. Well, the shortstop's got him played perfectly as he takes this in for the third out. Digging in now, Ahmed Rosario. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Frazier comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. J.D. Davis the next to bat. His previous history with Trevor Williams. He's got a three for five line. He's taken him deep once. Line drive to left. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. The second baseman, number six. And now Jeff McNeil skied into straightaway right. On the move is Polanco. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonzo. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Josh Bell the next to hit. He'll get us started in the top of the second. The 2 1 home. Nope, outside. Three one is a fastball and he can't connect three and two. When you get yourself to a three one count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. That is it. The third baseman. Colin Into the box now. Moran. Colin Moran fouled away. One and two, here it comes. Line toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. That is good. The right fielder, Gregory. At the plate now, Gregory Polanco. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. The one two. And he checked his swing, but it's a strike three called, and that's the first out of the inning. Digging in, Kevin Kramer, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Two two pitches a fastball high so it runs full three and two. 
no pitcher likes to take the count to three and two especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two that one wasn't even close and indeed he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score at the plate Jacob Stallings runner in scoring position with two guns ready with the two one and it's two balls and two strikes now sent in the air out to straightaway central Marisnik is under it he makes the play and that'll end the inning. Next for the Mets, Michael Conforto, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Ready now, Wilson Ramos, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Newman onto the grass. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the big RBI minded bat of Yoenis Cespedes. Popped him up. Stallings waits on it. And that ends the inning. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Trevor Williams. Nine, one, and two do up. Two balls and a strike. Oh, and he was fooled that time on the pitch away as he went around for strike two. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Cespedes is there and he makes the catch for the out. Now in the box, Kevin Newman. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. A 1 1. Heading out towards shallow right. McNeil ranging into the outfield. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Now back. And that'll bring in Adam Frazier. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two out base runner here after all. The center field now with the play, Brian Reynolds. Brian 0 for 1 for him here Reynolds. in this one. Hold high in the air out to right field. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Here's Jake Marisnik, took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. The 1 2. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Jake Marisnik is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. A ball and two strikes now. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled off. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. Here it comes. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. And it's fouled away. The 2-2 two, two, one more time. Pulled high in the air out to left field. 
And he will make the play. Two away now. And that will bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. Left field and deep. Going back is the left fielder. Still going back. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Standing in now, J.D. Davis. Hard hit ball to second. Oh, look at the sliding stop. The throw. Hey, now. All set for the start of the fourth. So that'll bring up Josh Bell. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. 3-2 pitch. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. Now batter. Stepping up to the plate, Colin Moran. A base hit in his first trip. A 1-1. Takes a pitch for strike number two. To two balls and two strikes now. Bell gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Sent on the ground out to second. A dive and he knocks it down. But they will not get it out on the play as he beats the throw to first. And there are two on to start the inning now. Into the box, Gregory Polanco. Two one pitches, a fastball swung on and missed two and two. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. As he arrives at second without a play, as they jump ahead with a run now scoring on the play. Number 44. To the plate now, Kevin Kramer. This is line to left. That's in there. Base hit. And to score is the runner from third. It's now 3-1. to one. Now the pepper. Jacob. In now, Jacob Stallings. Easy take there as the off-speed pitch misses well inside. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. Cespedes is there. Let's see if they try it. And they decide not to push things here with one away as he'll hold on at third base. Now batter. The pitcher. So here now is the pitcher, Trevor Williams. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. Cespedes is there. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And they'll tack on a run with the sack fly. It's now a four to one ball game. Ready for another chance? Now Kevin back. Newman. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Newman. The one-two. That's popped up. McNeil onto the grass. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Bottom of the inning now. Next up for New York, Jeff McNeil. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Reynolds is on the move for it, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. So here's Pete Alonzo. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Swung out and missed, and it's even at two and two. You know, from a hitter's perspective, you get pounded in, and then he throws a nasty changeup away. Is the mindset to tell yourself, 
that he's going to go in and out all day long, or is he going to double up? That's the cat and mouse we're seeing right now. Hard liner to center field. Reynolds is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Settling in now, Michael Conforto. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. The 3 2 pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad bat will continue. The next 3 2. Back up the middle. Reined in. Off balance throw, but he couldn't get enough on it, so it'll be scored as an infield single. Now a throw over to first. Stepping in now, Wilson Ramos checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Little chopper back to the mound. Newman's got it. Throw on the bell at first, and his side is retired. Riding into the box, Adam Frazier. He'll start off the fifth in this one. Slider clocked in the mid-80s there. It's a ball and two strikes. And he fouls this one off. Two and two to Adam Frazier. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a three-two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Brian Reynolds. The three-one. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Settling under it is Marisnik for out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And digging into bat next, the big bat of Josh Bell. Now the 2-1. Colin Moran would be next. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Cespedes is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. 0 for 1 after a pop-out in foul territory his first time through. Yeah, Matty, and I think that pop-out was just a result of poor pitch selection. Got to see the pitch over the heart of the plate. He chased well out of the zone, and as a result, didn't really put a good swing on that. Stepping in, Jake Marisnik. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. And that's low, ball four. Robinson Cano will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 24, Robinson. One run on three hits and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Off is Marisnik. Pitch misses low. The throw down. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Hit hard on the ground is short. And that's through a base hit. Marisnik ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. And he's safe at the plate as it's now a two run game. The batter, number one. Good shot. Into the box now, oh, Ahmed Rosario. A three ball, one strike Mario. count to the Mets shortstop. You know, I kind of see why his ERA is so high coming into this one. He's just putting these guys in too many good hitters counts. That'll catch up with you real quick. Relay to Bell, the double play, and that's how the inning ends. Justin Wilson takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Now pitching for the New York Mets. Number 38. In now, Colin Moran. 
He'll lead things off here in the Pirates half of the sixth. The 1-1. One, one. Oh, that's out. Looked like he got fooled on the speed there. Two and two. Wilson is among a dying breed. Those lefty specialists whose roles are changing with the new rules around reliever usage. He stays alive. Still two and two. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Moran is retired and there's one away. The batter. Digging in, Gregory Polanco, hoping to build off that RBI double from his last plate appearance. And he's got to build off that last AB. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Now batting. Stepping in, Kevin Kramer. He singled his last time up. The 1-1 home. Outside. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. 3-1 the count of the Pirates shortstop. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. After it is Marisnik. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Into the box now, J.D. Davis. The one-two is taken for ball two. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Now the three and two pitch. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. And that's in there. Base hit. Up next to the bat, the first base man. At the plate now, Pete Alonso. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. High in the air out to center field. Reynolds is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now at the plate, Michael Conforto, a hit in two tries so far. Hits are even right now at five aside. Hard hit ball to short. Scooped up on the second for the force out, and the side is retired. Jerry's Familia is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Jerry. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. The 2 1 home. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And, ooh, might have thought it was high, but it's a strike three and two now. Hit in the air down the right field line. Long run for the right fielder. And this will be off the wall out near the 330 marker. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Jose Osuna will come off the bench now as he'll pinch hit with the runner at second and nobody out. Okay. Osuna. Line toward right center. And this is going to find some real estate out there as he comes through off the bench with extra bases. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Now that second base, Kevin Newman. So now to the play, Kevin Newman. Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one.
inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here three and one Adam Frazier waits on deck he's set and the three and one pitch hit hard to the right side foul working for the punch out and the offering now a ball lined to the left side but this will be a foul ball The three two one more time liner toward right center and he will deliver one of the biggest at bats of the night it's a base hit and a relay to the plate and this will not be close and the run will score easily now that the left fielder Adam Frazier to the plate now Adam Frazier right side he's got it and the off balance throw gets him nice play for the out Paul Seawall comes on to pitch here with one man gone in the top of the seventh. Brian Reynolds. Brian Reynolds will be his first assignment out of the bullpen as he'll stand in with a runner in scoring position at second and one away. Now the 2 1. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Mariznik on the move. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. Now that the first baseman. Standing in now, Josh Bell. Hey. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. On he pops it up, drifting just beyond the infield. McNeil takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Digging in to try it again. Now Colin Moran. So far, two for three Colin in this one. Moran. The 1-1 one, one home is looked at for ball number two. Count is two and one. Two and two. I got to count two and two. The 2-2. Two, two. Hit softly down the line at first. Reined in. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Richard Rodriguez gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 48. And that'll bring up Wilson Ramos. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. The 1 2. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right. So we'll try it again at one and two. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. Fly ball out toward left center field. And it was sinking on him a bit, but he's able to run it down anyway for the first down. The left fielder, number 52. Here's you on a Cespedes. He's popped out and lined out. Go for two thus far. You know, Madden, every team has that one guy, and Yoannis Cespedes is that guy for the Mets. Completely changes that complexion of that Mets betting order. There's Jake Marisnik. He'll get his shot next. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Frazier is right there, and that's out number two. Into the box, Jake Marisnik. They'll run this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Not much he could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Here's Gregory Polanco. He's working on a one for three thus far. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. 
Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Line hard, but foul. And a good take there will net him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Ready once again, Kevin Kramer. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Trying to pick things up where we left now off. Back. Jacob Kevin. Stallings. Jacob Stallings. Here's the one and two. Skied into straightaway right. Oh, and a fine play there as he ranges back to put this one away. Not an easy play by well, any means, and there are two gone. Eric Gonzalez will Number look for two. some two-out magic Eric. here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. And he misses two and one. Seven runs, nine hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. This is swung on and bounced to McNeil at second. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Nick Birdie is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 57. Eduardo Nunez will try and get his club back into it here as he'll pinch hit to lead off the home half of the eighth. Three and one. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. 3-2 pitch. Gets him looking. Strike three. Now back to the top of the Mets order. Digging Come in, back. Ahmed Number Rosario. One. He's got Good a hit job. in three at-bats to this point. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. High in the air out towards shallow right. Polanco has a read on it. Two gone. Now with the play, J.D. Davis. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. The 3 1. Takes a strike for a full count now, 3 and 2. Swing and a line drive. Just foul. Another full count pitch home. It's sharply toward third. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. Now that is number six. Into the box, Jeff McNeil fouled away. Pulls this one high and deep to right center field. Back goes Polanco at the track. The wall. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. Into the box now, Pete Alonzo. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. Fouled off. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing. Looking at a fastball to end the inning. Brad Brock enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. 
New inning set to get underway. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Kevin Newman. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. A 1 1. Brock has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. So here's Adam Frazier, who could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. High in the air out to center field. Mariznik is under it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Digging in the switch hitter, Brian Reynolds. It was an RBI double for him in his last turn to the plate. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the two out hit keeps the inning hot and brings in Josh Bell. In now, Josh Bell. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Two men are on with two men out. Pulled toward right center field. After it is Marisnik. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Keone Kella is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the night. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Coming to the plate now, Michael Conforto. He's working on a one for three thus far. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. And he'll step on first himself for the out. So coming to the plate, Wilson Ramos. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The one two one out nobody on and it's fouled away and it lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time and it's back to even now at two and two Man, this guy's a grinder fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner this guy's a pitcher's nightmare another try at two two so a full count now. You can certainly tell at bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. On the ground near home. That rolls foul and they'll do it again. Once again a 3-2. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty. One man out. On pitch number 10 is the one that finally does it as he strikes out after a long battle here. Striding in, Joannis Cespedes. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Catch is made, and the Pirates have come back to even up this series at a game apiece as this ball game is over. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win. 7-4 to four is the final score in tonight's game. The Pirates took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Trevor Williams notches his third win of the year. Keone Kella hammers down the save his fifth of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.
Here now is our final line score tonight. For the victorious Pirates, seven runs on ten hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. For the Mets, four runs, seven hits.